Hello guys and welcome to Clouds Gaming. Today we're going to take a look at Homeworld 2 Remastered Edition. And with this game you get the Homeworld 1 and 2, the originals and Homeworld 1 and 2 in Remastered Edition. And you also get mod support and a multiplayer that they're working on is currently in beta. So I've never played the original Homeworld. So we're going to start out playing the Homeworld Remastered Edition, the first game. And I've never played this campaign, but I did the tutorial before starting to record this. So let's uh, get straight into the single player game. One hundred years ago, a satellite detected an object under the sands of the Great Desert. An expedition was sent. An ancient starship buried in the sand. Deep inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara, our home. The clans were united, and a massive colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. It would demand new technologies, new industries, and new sacrifices. The greatest of these was made by the scientist Karen Sajet, who had herself permanently integrated into the colony ship as its living core. She is now Fleet Command. The promise of the Guide Stone united the entire population. Every mind became focused on the true origin of our people every effort on the construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. Scaffold control standing by. All stations green. You're clear to approach. You got it. Base 8, 9, and 10 sealed. Scaffold decks A, B, C secure. Decks D and E secure. Scaffold secure. All systems green. Release crew standing by. What a beautiful sight. This is Fleet Command. Reporting mothership relaunch status. Command online. Resourcing online. Construction online. Cryogenic subsections A through J online. K through S online. Scaffold control standby for alignment.
Alignment confirmed. Stand by release control. All caliper banks released. The mothership has cleared the scaffold. We are away. Stand by for command line testing. Command line green. Initial fleet in position. Resetting navigation. All right, so now I have control. Fleet intelligence going online. Our task is to analyze all sensor data and generate mission objectives. Before the hyperdrive tests, several trials must be completed. Test construction by building the primary research ship. Test resource processing by harvesting the asteroids provided nearby. Hyperspace module charging. 35% capacity and rising. The mothership will be ready for the hyperdrive test in 10 minutes. At ease. Stand by to begin combat trials. First, we will be monitoring formation performance. Target drones have been provided here. Assign a formation to your fighters and destroy the drones. All right, so let's uh, find our fighters. Must be these green things there. Ready. We'll attack these drones. All route. So put them into a capital flank, sir. No, actually. Delta formation. New formation acknowledged. So now we should attack and destroy these uh, drones, target drones. Ready. Strike group prepare for assault. If I hold down the CGL key, I can drag a box around them and they'll attack all of the drones. Oh. It takes a while to kill these drones. Formation trial complete. Flight analysis shows a 22% increase in combat performance. The next trial will test the effectiveness of tactics. Stand by to begin tactics trial. Use aggressive or evasive tactics and engage the target drones here. We must drill our pilot's handling of tactical adaptability, assign them a new tactic and destroy the remaining drones. All right. Acknowledged. So, where's the tactic? Maybe this is tactics. Weapon set to full power. Strike group to battle positions. Watch your six. Pursuing targets. So now I'm attacking these drones. Um, I think that the tactics was just this. Aggressive, uh, defensive, passive. If I hold down the shift key and the right mouse button, I can issue different uh, orders and uh, use the special uh, moves that the ship has, or abilities. Oh, here, here's tactics. tactics. So yeah, it is uh, either aggressive, defensive, or passive. 
So aggressive will be they attack everything in range and stuff like that, and defensive will only attack uh, if other friendly ships are attacked, and passive will not attack at all. Enemy neutralized. So this is the strike group, it's actually the formation you can choose. So that takes care of those. Local resources exhausted, fleet moving on. Alright, I guess that was the first uh, scenario. Tactics trial complete. The next trial will test the performance of the salvage corvette. Build one and capture the target drone here. It's time to test the hard acid retrieval process of the salvage corvette. Capture the drone and return it to the mothership for processing. So there's a drone somewhere here. If I press the spacebar, I can get into this map. So that's the salvage drone I need to get. So if I press B, I get the build order. And I can uh, select different ship types here. So I want to build the salvage corvette. Construction underway. Description, uh, salvage and capture corvette disables and captures enemy vessels. Strong versus none. <laughs> A week against yeah, pretty much everything. Pre prerequisites, Corvette, drive Corvettes, chassis. So we're building this salvage Corvette and then we'll go and send it off to get this uh, target drone over here to complete the objective. There we salvage are. Salvage Corvette complete. Mothership. Um, I want to select the salvage Corvette. Let's Mothership. go. There we are. The game's really nice looking. Here's the scaffolding and the mothership in the background. We're passing the asteroid field. And the planet. Yeah, the graphics and the music and the effects do a really good job at setting the mood. So here's the target drone where we need to salvage. Now I guess we're heading back to the mothership with a catch. Construct a research ship. Propulsion and weapons research is too hazardous to conduct without the mothership. Construct a research vessel to safely house these experiments. All right. So in our build menu, we should find something. Research ship, here it is. Description, research and development hub, houses, labs to research new technologies. Let's build that. Construction underway. This is as far as I can uh, zoom out from the mothership. This is a cryo tray. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what, what that is. New research available. Stand by research for a hyperdrive complete. test. Internal pressure doors will be sealed in two minutes. Abort system standing by. Hyperspace module fully charged. I am ready to initiate quantum wave generation on your mark. Good luck, everyone. All sections have reported in. We are clear to proceed. Trigger the hyperspace drive at your discretion. So now we can jump to the next scenario, I guess. Eddie. Quick duck all of our ships. Before we jump. All hyperspace systems operating at full power. If the hyperspace targeting system is accurate, we will emerge in close proximity to the support vessel Car Salim. This ship has spent the past 10 years traveling on conventional drives to reach the outer Karak system. The Kar Salim will monitor the quantum waveform as we return to normal space and assist in tuning our drive control systems. If 
if the hyperspace module malfunctions, the Carcelim will provide assistance and resupply. Mission objectives will be to dock with the support vessel in order to complete adjustments to the mothership and her drives. So here we are on the outskirts of Karak system. We made it. Hyperspace jump complete. All systems nominal, and the quantum wave effect has dissipated. We have misjumped. The support ship is not here. Fleet Command will signal the Car Salim while we confirm our current position. This is the mothership calling support vessel Car Salim. Come in, please. We've misjumped and are requesting your beacon. This is the mothership calling support vessel Car Salim. Please respond. Priority alert, we have picked up the Car Slim's automated beacon. Send a probe to make contact and re-establish communications. <laughs> 